Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Shane is going to teach us how to drive our we'll monster. Try, we'll try to. <laughs> I think we'll Hope be you're for a challenge. I, I think we'll be successful. <laughs> how to drive Inky and Mo and not hurt anyone. So it's Shane with On the Road with Damascus Road. That is our YouTube channel. Channel? Camel? Channel. Channel? Anyway. <laughs> channel. It's yes. early. Yes, it's, it's early. early with on the Road with Damascus Road is our YouTube channel, and Damascus Road RV Services is our business. But today, I'm representing as a contractor from the RV Driving School, and I'm going to teach them how to drive their rig. Cross your fingers. A lot of people have a misconception that the person behind the wheel has to be the better driver. Okay? Not necessarily true. Because if he's driving and you know what you're doing, if he does exactly what you tell him to do, everything will go just fine. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have a problem. <laughs> yes. Alright guys, it's 10 o'clock. We've had about two hours. An hour and a half of instruction, and Shane is about to take us through some cone work at a church parking lot down the street, about 15 miles away. He said, yeah. Okay, um, so Lee got here yesterday, so I think he can get 15 more miles to the church <laughs> and uh, get some cone work going and really learn these pivot points. All right. Good run. All you're gonna do, back up till we're just till that last cone is in front of you. So where I started. Yes. At the beginning. Yes. Okay. All we're gonna do is make sure no cars come cutting through here and then do a few crazy. All right. Okay. So we're not gonna be telling you anything other than if I holler. Duh! All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> So close. Yes. Somebody blow on it and push it back up the other way. I don't know why your cones keep falling over. Maybe, maybe the base is beveled this at the bottom. Was, this wasn't in the brochure. <laughs> if you got to circle around the whole part or go through a cone sack, turn around, and come do it in an easier way, you got to make these choices of figuring out what's the easiest for you and how you can make it happen. Yes, work on things, practice and train. You know, go to parking lots and keep learning. But when you have a choice to do something the easy way in the real world, choose the easy way. The lesser of the two evils. Teach me how to drive this beast. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, we're going to go out and make a big, gentle, big circle. Okay. And we're going to have you hit your brakes and hit your gas a little harder, hit your brakes and kind of okay. do a little snaky, curvy stuff. And all I want you to do is pay attention to your mirrors, to your pivot points, and see how the trailer reacts in your mirrors. mirrors. Pivot points is where you just set your mirrors at. Yep. The center axle. Okay. okay. Nice, Ready? slow, and easy. We ain't in a hurry. Just go. Nice, big, right turn.
pivot point, opposite corner, tail swing. So I'm gonna pivot keep, point back there. Going, keep going, oh. keep going straight. Now turn. You wanna get deep into it before you make the turn. Okay. okay. Pivot point, and is this my opposite corner over here? This is your opposite corner. Okay, opposite corner, all right. Because yeah. <clears throat> you gotta worry about what's at the front that I'm gonna hit. And what was the third thing? Tail swing. Okay. Remember we did the tail swing video? Yeah. See how she makes this corner by herself. Mm. I'm thinking she's gonna hit the pivot point, which will be the curb. There she goes, she's doing something. Today, but we're also gonna do some good backing maneuvers and more training. Like we said when I was in Army, if it ain't raining, we ain't training. <laughs> We've stopped. We're about to back into our website. I mean, back into our campsite, and we'll do the goal. And what is the goal? Uh, we need Get our, out and look. Get out and look. We need our slide test. stick and our power tester. Slide stick and power tester. So what was the slide stick and power tester for? Measures the distance of the slide. Make sure you have clearance on the slide. And what's the power? To test your power to make sure it works before you spend the time backing in. <laughs> spend the time backing in or unhooking or setting up. But yeah, all of the above. The back end's even better. So, all right, so get out and look. You're looking at all six sides. Tree limbs dangling. Slide widths. Maximize your campground space and the footing of the side itself.
Okay, we're about to successfully back in now. So she had already been back there guiding, got him pretty much straightened out, and now she's just telling him exactly where to stop. said come meant to the turn and the stop sign. So this is where you gotta worry about your pivot point, which is your inside turning axle, your opposite corner, which would be the front bumper of the truck, opposite of your pivot point, inside corner, and your tail swing. So let's watch this tail swing. in the afternoon on a very chilly and rainy day and we just finished our RV class. How do you think we did? Shane? Pretty good. Um, I hope the biggest thing I gave you was some confidence to go forward and the tools to put in your toolbox to continue to use to advance your skills in the future. Don't just think you've done the class, check mark, you don't have to worry about it. Keep practicing, find a parking lot somewhere close to you, find some water bottles. If you solo don't cups. want to buy cones, solo cups. Put some water in them, water in them if it's raining. <laughs> if it's windy, um, do something. To get you some markers to make some obstacles and create your own campsite spaces and practice it. Okay? It is a perishable skill, especially if you're not a full-timer and you only camp every few months. Okay? okay. Full-timing, they're going to be practicing a lot. Yes, and a I will lot. Say, this is the need to practice coldest on. and wettest I've been <laughs> for an RV driving school class. It has been chilly. Our fingers are frozen. We've actually sat in Amy a lot of the lesson today when Lee was learning to back up. I did back up a little. And she did pretty stinking good. <laughs> so one day I will get real life experience. Lee's about to get crash course. So <laughs> Hopefully and, not crash <laughs> course, but... <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe, jump in, maybe bad jump terminology. In first. <laughs> but anyhow, this is backpacks and bumpers. On the road with Damascus Road. And we'll see what you is, down the road. And what is your next adventure going to be? Oh, we're headed to Congaree, but we have a we have a week stay in the state park, A. H. Stevens State Park. Yep, so y'all enjoy it. See you down the road. Y'all be good. <laughs>